If you have an item that you don't know the value and you can't find any comps, how do you price it? Hey guys, it's Monday, April 19th. I have 35 eBay orders to ship out today. Let's get to work. First couple things I pulled from my storage unit. This is an AB Sports hat, ABC Sports hat that I got from that big hat buy. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then this is a vintage Elvis t-shirt that uh, sold for $29.99 plus shipping. That's going out to viewers Misty and Eleanor. Misty and Eleanor say, hey John, we've been selling on eBay for just over a year and a half and it started when we discovered your channel. We cannot thank you enough for the knowledge you've supplied us with. We've now been able to pay for my fiance and I to both uh, for graduate school. I'm graduating nurse practitioner school in May. Thank you so much for everything. That is fantastic. Congratulations on that. I'm glad the videos are helping and thank you both so much for the support. I sold quite a few cards, so I'm going to do my best to just go ahead and pull them all at once. Let's see, in this C4 box, I sold a Pete Rose autograph card. Let's see what we got. This one right here, Living Legend, that sold for $24.99 free shipping. And also in this box, I sold an Isaiah Kiner Falefa, if I pronounce that right. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. And that is going to be named Colin. Colin, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like that card. Next thing, we're coming over to D32. This is that Ozzy Guillen autographed jersey I got from that big um, like sports card and memorabilia buy I made a few weeks ago. I had a viewer named Randy reach out about this, and we had agreed on like $75 free shipping. Uh, but since he was buying it through eBay, I listed it like super high so nobody would you know snatch it from him. And then he just sent an offer of $75 free shipping. Randy, if you're watching this, I'll let you know, anytime you message me through eBay, I can't do any kind of like messaging or talking on there about selling it outside of eBay. Otherwise, I'll definitely get in trouble. They have an algorithm that scans those messages. I've seen them, you know, shut people down for like a week before for trying to do that. So I, anytime anybody messages me on eBay, viewer, whatever, I need to make that sale on eBay. So if you guys want to buy it outside of eBay, just shoot me an email at cincinnatipicker at gmail.com. I'll put a link down below in the description. Randy also got a hat down here in A51, this Red Dog beer hat, that sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Randy, thank you again so much for the business, man. It really means a lot. Okay, next we're going to pull this A3 box. I sold quite a few cards out here. First one is this Mike Stanton rookie card. He now goes by Giancarlo Stanton. That sold... For $15 free shipping. That is going out to be named Logan. And I sold a lot of 12 uh, Mickey Mantle reprint cards. These right here. Uh, those sold for $11.50 plus shipping. Going out to be named Austin. Okay, next is 10 Derek Jeter cards right back here. I think they're back here. Yeah, these. Those sold for $20.50 plus shipping. Those are going out to be named Brian. Then I sold some Jose Abreu. Uh, I think these are like first Bowman cards. Uh, those sold for ten fifty plus shipping. Going out to a viewer named Laura. And by the way, these are all uh, auctions that I did. So if the prices sound a little weird, that's why I did auctions for all these starting at a dollar. Next is a lot of MLB patch cards. There's uh, thirteen of them. Those sold for twenty three fifty plus shipping. Sold a George Springer rookie card in here. The orange parallel that sold for $14.99 free shipping. Sold a Dustin Dustin Pedroia. Um, let's see, this is 2014 Topps Chrome Red Refractor number to five. I'm sorry, number to 25. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. Sold a Rafael Devers autograph card. Uh, 2015 Bowman's Best. That sold for $34.99 free shipping. Sold a Steph Curry rookie card. Let's see here. Right here, upper deck. This is 2009. Uh, that sold for 157.50 free shipping. Sold a Derek Jeter rookie card. Um, let's see here, right there. Uh, that sold for 24 dollars plus shipping. Sold a Willie Nelson card. This is really cool. It's got a uh, bandana patch of his. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. And that's going out to Virginia William. Brian, Laura, and William, I want to thank you guys all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing's an ashtray and E42. This little guy right here, this is part of the eBay store buyout I made maybe a month ago. I guess it's a restaurant called Sardi's. That sold for $11.99 plus shipping. I sold a lot of 20 autographed baseball cards. 
Uh, let's see. I put them up here in A21. Yeah, these right here. I marked them MLB 10. I did an auction for these starting at a dollar. They sold for $51 plus shipping. I did a lot of 10 Bryce Harper cards. Down here in A51. Probably underneath these hats, if I had to guess. Yeah, here they are. Uh, this was also an auction, and those sold for $34 plus shipping. Sold a snow globe. I believe it is right here. Yeah, it's Cinderella. Something I've had for maybe six months or so. It's been a while. I only paid a couple dollars for it. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I sold a Monster High toy. Let's see. Right here. I got this at that garage sale maybe three weeks ago where I bought out all the guys toys and Monster High stuff can sell for really good money some of the dolls are worth a ton this one wasn't super valuable it sold for $29.99 plus shipping next order is three lots of cards that I did each one is 20 cards I think some are autographs some are patches first one is in a 41 let's see MLB 12 yep that's the one has a Cole Calhoun card and some other ones next is in B21 up here that is mlb 13 those are just my inventory codes by the way uh, and the next one is in b31 right here mlb 14. same buyer won all three of these auctions for 9201 plus shipping i'll just combine them all in the same box and refund them the difference of the shipping cost okay next thing's an e32 it is this heinz easy squirt funky purple ketchup little plus toy that sold for $19.99, free shipping. Next thing's in the box right next to it, E31. This is Disney on Broadway. I think there's three different CDs in here. New in the plastic, those sold for $24.99, free shipping. Next, we're going to B21. Right up here it is this three-pack of, I think these are like arrow tips, like LED lighted arrow tips. Those sold for $12.99, free shipping. Sold two pair of pants in C2. I've already got them bagged up. These are Wranglers. I think they're like maybe stretch waist. Yeah, stretch denim. I got these at Goodwill probably like four or five months ago. I only paid $4 for each pair. Same buyer bought both of them for $49.98 plus shipping. So a few video games. First is in C31. It is Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the Steelbook Edition. That sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next is an F41. Let's see. Need for Speed. High stakes for PS1. That sold for $12.99 free shipping. And next is an E32. It is Area 51 for PS1. That sold for $18.99 free shipping. Next thing's in C52. It is one of these Rick and Morty portal gun key ring light. I got a bunch of these from that eBay store buyout. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Uh, next is on C4. Let's see. I think it's this box right here. Yeah, this is a IPL hair remover. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I missed one of the cards in C4 that sold. It is an autograph printing plate by Braxton Garrett. 101 that sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next thing is an SNES game. Chess Master complete with the box. Right down here. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Going out to a viewer named Drew. Drew, thanks for the support. I hope you like the game. And lastly, we're shipping out today is an E41. It is this Pokemon plush. Let's see, this character's name is Glaceon or Glaceon. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping going out to you of your name, Nathan. Nathan, thank you so much for the business. It means a lot. It's Tuesday morning. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out, but first I've got some viewer questions I want to answer. First question is from Arcade Chris. Hey CP, hopefully you can answer this in one of your next videos. Do you get receipts for your dropped off packages? And if you don't, has an item been lost and what has happened? Thank you in advance. Great vids as always. Okay, personally, I don't wait around and get the receipts at the post office. If you want to be like, you know, extra safe and careful yeah go ahead and do it just to make sure that it shows that they received it i'm fortunate that my post office is just amazing they scan them as soon as i drop them off they're really never busy so i see them scanning them all in 
I've done it like that for years and years and years, and I've never had a package go missing that they didn't at least accept it. Um, Cause that's what that receipt is showing you. It's showing you that, that they accepted it. It's in their custody now and they're trying to deliver it. But yeah, to be, you know, extra safe and just to cross your T's, dot your I's, you should probably get receipts. Uh, I guess I've just been fortunate that way that I never had anything go missing. Okay, next is from Rodolfo Fernandez. If you have an item that you don't know the value and you can't find any comps, how do you price it? Do you try to find similar items or do an auction? Thanks, best of luck. So um, I have a subscription to worthpoint.com that searches back like years and years, like forever. And a lot of times I'll find comps on there. Uh, but I saw um, something from eBay yesterday, a message that now all members have free access to Terapeak. And that is very similar to Worth Point. I've never used it, but I've heard that it tracks back years and years of sales because if you search something on eBay and you're trying to look at sold and completed items, it only goes back 90 days. So you've only got the last 90 days of research to help you price something. So if I can't find it on Worth Point, I can't find it anywhere on eBay. Yeah, I'll try to find something similar and usually I won't do an auction. I'll just price it up extra high and then maybe put on best offers. So yeah, if you've got something that you think has some value but you can't find any prices, just price it high because you can always come down. But if you price it too low, you can't go up. All right, time to pack some orders. First thing is this Philadelphia Eagles hat. I went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit. This is a really cool one. I got this up in Piqua from Fred when I bought all that stuff from him. It's a 3930 New Era Salute to Service, and that's over $24.99 plus shipping. Buyer didn't say they're a viewer, but I recognize the username, so I think this is going out to Michael. So, Michael, if you're watching this, thank you for the business. I hope you like the hat. Okay, next thing is a DVD set. It is right up top here. I think this is Capoeira. New in the plastic. I've had this for quite some time, maybe like a year. I've only got a dollar into it. That's all for $17.99 free shipping. Next thing's in D41. Let's see, it's these right here. I actually have four of these. They are user guides with a uh, install disc for a money machine. It's the Jet Scan IFX I100 like money scanner. And I'm just selling user guides. I just sold one for $18.99 free shipping. Next is on B2. This is a Rick and Morty Angry Mr. Meeseeks Jack in the Box. I got this at the garage sale with all those toys. That's all for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing is the Sony Internet TV that I bought at Krista's garage sale last weekend. I paid $10 bucks for it. Worked great. It sold for $64.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a really cool one. This guy right here, and it weighs a ton. I might not be able to pull this out with one hand, but I will try. Yeah, here we go. This thing weighs like almost 30 pounds, I think. I mean, it's just an absolute brick. This is a Zenith Data Systems laptop. Here, let me pull this out so you guys can actually see it. I bought this from Daniel when I bought out his eBay store, and he mentioned that he had something similar like this on Doogie Hauser. Um, wasn't a power cord with it or anything like that, so I just sold it uh, for parts, and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next are two Pokemon plush. Let's see, first is in B31. This pink one, that is Sylveon or something like that. Only way I knew the names because I did the Google image search. And then the other is F42 right here. This one is Vap Vaporeon or Vaporon. Uh, the pair sold to the same buyer for $29.98 plus shipping. Next, we're coming over to C4. I sold some cards. Let's see here. First one is a Luke Kennard uh, Patch Auto right back here. Has a really awesome look to it. Uh, I did an auction for this starting at a dollar, sold for $54 plus shipping. Next card is also an auction card. It is a Derek Jeter Rookie. Had a couple of issues. The corners weren't great. I made sure I took really good pictures of the corners and tried to just point out any kind of flaws it had. Uh, that sold for $11 plus shipping. And the last one is a Mike Stanton rookie. Tops Chrome right there. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Going out to viewer named Chris. Chris, thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next is a video game in B31. 
Off-World Interceptor Extreme. I guess this is kind of rare. It's for PS1. Part of a bulk buy of stuff, so I've only got a few dollars into it. That sold for $39.99, free shipping. It's Wednesday morning. I have 17 eBay orders to ship out. And the first few things I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. This right here is a Ben Hogan wedge. Uh, it's a Gap wedge, the Carnoustie model. I bought that in Dayton a couple weeks ago with some other stuff uh, from John. And it sold for $29.99, plus shipping. Next thing is a Harley t-shirt. Um, I sent out some offers yesterday. This is one of the things I sent out an offer for. I think I sent out an offer of like $35 plus, sh plus shipping. They countered with $31.15 plus shipping. I think that's because it ended up being $4.85, so they wanted it to be like $36 all in, so I went ahead and accepted that. Then I've got three sales going out to viewers. First, we've got this RC Plush that I just picked up last weekend in the garage sale for $2. It's going to Logan for $15 free shipping. The SeaWorld Snow Globe is going to Jeremy for $20 free shipping. And this Hot Wheels uh, Super 6-in-1 racetrack is going out to Neil for $40 free shipping. Logan, Jeremy, and Neil, thank you guys all so much for the support. Next thing is an F41. It is this little, I think they're called Cereal Buddies? Breakfast Babies? Um, from uh, Lucky Charms. That's all for $15.99 free shipping. Next is a camera in F32. This Miranda Sensorex wasn't able to test this, so I sold it as is for parts. It is really clean, and you know, at least when I pulled this back and hit the shutter, it seemed like it was working. Got this as part of a bulk buy maybe three weeks ago. I think I've got about five ten dollars into it. That sold for $34.99 plus shipping going out to viewer name Adam. Adam, thank you for the business. I hope that camera works out great for you. Sold an iPod in C32 right up here. I got this at a garage sale last weekend. I got this huge box of like random electronics for 30 bucks, and this was in it. It sold for $19.99 for shipping. Also in that box is, or it was, this one terabyte external hard drive. New in the box, that sold for $39.99 for shipping. Sold a hat in C42. I've had this for quite some time. Got it from the Mojo Caster crew. Don't have a lot into it, maybe four or five dollars, something like that. Had it listed for like 30 or so. I sent out best an offer of $15 plus shipping and the watcher accepted. Sold a couple cards in C4. Let's see, I sold a button patch card. Because I've seen some of cards these days that are putting like patches from jerseys and bats and different things. And this card had a couple buttons from the player's jersey. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is, Zach Jackson. Two buttons, number two five. That sold for $19.99, free shipping. And the other card I'm pulling is a Mookie Betts first Bowman Prospects on the Chrome. This one right here, I did an auction for this one starting at a dollar. It sold for $51 plus shipping. And this one's going out to be your name, Adam. Adam, thank you for the support. Hope you like the card. Next thing's on the B3 shelf. This is another thing that I sent an offer out for this Dale Jarrett diecast car. I sent an offer uh, for $17 plus shipping and the watcher accepted. Next thing is a vintage Pac-Man glass, an A8. This thing is so cool. It's just got a really awesome look to it. I got this two or three weeks ago. It was part of a bulk buy and it sold for $14.99 .90, plus shipping and it's going out to viewer named Allison. Allison, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next sale is kind of a weird one. It is back here on B4. These are vintage Uncle Josh pork rind baits. I got these maybe like four or five months ago in one of the trips up to Wapakoneta with a bunch of random other stuff that I bought. Let's see if I can get this open to show you guys. Kind of a funky thing. I don't know if they're collecting with them or if they're gonna try to fish with them. I had these listed for a while for like 30 or 40 bucks. Sent out a best offer of $18 plus shipping and the washer accepted. Next thing, we're going back here to D32. It is these two tile packs, peel and stick tiles. The pair sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going back to D32. These over-the-ear headphones sold that I just picked up last weekend uh, from that garage sale buy. They'll sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And last thing I'm shipping out today is down here in F52. It is this Sony Action Cam. I think it comes with like a helmet clip and everything. Um, I got this at the same garage sale as those headphones. And the, the, this sold for $99.99 plus shipping going out to your name, Scout. 
Scout says, hello from California. Just watched your video and saw that you found this, this gym. My wife and I have been watching your videos and appreciate all the tips and tricks. We've learned so much from you. We recently started a YouTube channel called NorCal Scout. Not a lot of traffic, so let us know your thoughts. Can you give us a shout out? Also, any chance you can throw in some stickers for my wife, your biggest fans in NorCal. Scout, thanks so much for your support. I'll definitely throw in some stickers and happy to shout out your channel as well. Um, as far as getting traction, just stick with it if you just started. It takes a while to get some momentum on YouTube, but just keep plugging away. It's Thursday morning. I have 18 eBay orders to ship out. Didn't have to pull anything from storage today, but I did go ahead and pull this. This is that Toyota TRD jacket you guys saw me find last weekend. I uh, picked it up for $2, and a dude named Russ reached out. He bought it for $45 free shipping. Russ, thank you for the support. I hope you like that jacket. Okay, first eBay order I'm shipping out is a Coleman extendable arm distribution tree so you connect this to a uh, propane tank and you put a lamp in it or whatever else i sold two of these i got both of them in the uh, ebay store buyout i did not too long ago two different buyers bought these for 24.99 each plus shipping next is an autographed die cast let's see actually on the same shelf as the other pieces i just pulled this is a Joe Nemechek um, truck and trailer and car, and it's signed by Joe. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Going out to viewer named Dan. Dan, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing's on B2. It is this vintage RC car that I just picked up at a garage sale last weekend. This was in a random box of stuff that I paid $5 for, and I had five or six things in there, so I've got about a dollar into this. It has some damage. Uh, not in the best shape, so I just took lots of pictures and said, you know, selling it as is for parts. I think I listed it for like $50 or best offer. Somebody offered $35 plus shipping, and I accepted. Okay, next thing I'm pulling, I actually sold three of them. It is these Jurassic Park sticker collections, and I decided to do lots of two. So each lot has a set of those yellow ones and a set of these red ones. Each set sold for $13.99 free shipping, and they are all going to viewers, actually. First set is going to Josh. Second set is going to Jeff and Tiana from Belgium. And the last set is going to Kimberly. And Kimberly asked that I show her uh, eBay seller name, Shop for Fun 2001 Josh, Jeff and Tiana, and Kimberly, thank you guys so much for the business. Next thing's in 831. It is this Toy Story keychain. It's got all these different charms from the movie. Uh, that's all for $17.99, free shipping, go out to your name, Carlos. Carlos says, love your YouTube channel, watch it all the time, can you send me one of your stickers? Carlos, thanks for your support, I'll definitely send some stickers for you. Next thing's on A5, let's see, well, I think it's at A5, I think it's actually, there it is. This is a Brilliance New York um, SPF Day Cream. I've had this for quite some time. I sent out an offer for it for $10 plus shipping and the watcher accepted. Next thing's down is C52. It is this set of three Snap Crackle Pop Rice Krispie uh, little plush toys. Those sold for $15.99 free shipping. Going out to viewer named Jaime. Jaime, thanks for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next we're pulling some cards from A3. It's two different Trevor Story cards. One is numbered to 50, it's that one right there. And the other one's right behind it, numbered to 250. Um, these are Bowman's Best rookie cards. I had one of these priced at 30 and another at 20. Buyer reached out saying, hey, would you do 40 for both? And I said, yep, no problem. Next thing is a Cincinnati Reds ornament. Let's see, it is right down here. It's a really cool one. This is, um, they did this for the 150th anniversary because the Reds were founded in 1869, so they did it in 2019. Uh, that sold for $19.99 free shipping, going out to Vinny and Brian. Brian, thanks so much for the support, and go Reds. We're pulling another card over here in C4. It is a Raphael Devers autograph rookie card. Let's move some of these out of the way. Let's see, this one right here, that sold for $29.99 free shipping. Sold two Pokemon uh, plush toys. In E31 and E32, here is the first one, and here is the second one. I had one of these listed for, I'm sorry, I had them both listed for $19.99 plus shipping. A viewer reached out offering $30 plus shipping for the pair, and I accepted. 
Your name Eli got those. Eli, thanks so much for the support. Okay, the last thing I'm shipping out are two lots of cards. First order has two different lots. We've got one in F42. It is MLB 19. This one right here. Uh, 20 patch cards. Uh, game used jerseys, manufactured patches. Other one is down in C51. And it is MLB 20. Right here. And I did an auction with both of these starting at a dollar. Same buyer got both of them for $137 plus shipping. Okay, one more order of two card lots. First is in C32. It is MLB 16. This one right here. It's 20 cards autographed. Uh, they're all signed. There might be a couple patches in here. And next is an F31. Right back here. Yep, MLB 18. And same buyer won both of these auctions for $145 plus shipping. It's Friday afternoon, I'm back from the garage sales, and it is a little late in the day, it's like 2.30. It's rare that I'm shipping stuff out this late. I usually try to get it done in the morning or at least around lunchtime, but I had a lot of stuff to do today. Um, garage sales to hit, kids to drop off at school, I went to my antique mall and put a bunch of stuff in my booths, and I've been working on something for the last couple weeks, and I finished it today, I'm really excited. So stay tuned for that, I'm gonna let you guys know about that next week, uh, but right now I've got 17 eBay orders to ship out. First few things were my storage unit, so I went ahead and pulled them. This right here is some kind of Egyptian shirt. You can kind of see my chicken scratch. It's, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce, you know, what the name on this thing was. I had this listed for like $30 or best offer. Took a best offer of $21 plus shipping. I'm sorry, $21 free shipping. Next is a Jesse James workwear shirt. I got this at a garage sale a couple weeks ago for $2 and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Going out to a viewer named Christine. She got that for her son. And then lastly is an Elvis single stitch shirt. Also something I took a best offer on. Sold for $30 free shipping, and it is going to Frankie. Christine and Frankie, thanks so much for the support. I almost forgot. I meant to pull these and forgot. These are viewer sales going out. Uh, I'm sold outside of eBay. This is a Fox Sports Padfolio. You guys saw me pick up at a garage sale for a dollar. That's going to Gary for $20 free shipping. And then here's this big tapestry that is going out to Owen for $25 free shipping. Gary and Owen, guys, thank you both so much for the support. Okay, next thing going out is a lot of 20 autographed uh, baseball cars. They're in F32 right here. Uh, by the way, neighbor is making a ton of noise out there, so I apologize. They're doing God knows what. Okay, this was MLB 17. That's my inventory code on these different lots so I don't mix them up. I did an auction on these starting at a dollar. They sold for $72 plus shipping. Next is a snow globe uh, right up here. I got three of these at a garage sale last weekend for $2 each and this one right here sold for $19.99 free shipping. It is a SeaWorld snow globe. Gosh, they're loud. Uh, Diane bought this. Diane, thank you so much. I hope you like the snow globe. Next thing is a printer right up here it is a thermal receipt printer part of the uh, ebay store buyout that i made and it sold for 39.99 plus shipping all right next we're going over to d1 i sold a die cast car let's see ken schrader m ms i want to say it's this one maybe yeah this one right here I had this listed for like 15 dollars or best offer uh, somebody sent me an offer of 10 dollars plus shipping and i accepted Next thing is in D32, another thing I got from the eBay store buyout. Cards Against Humanity Red Box, new in the plastic, that sold for $19.99, free shipping. Okay, next is an F41. I thought this was a cool piece. Nightmare Before Christmas Puzzle. Seems like all the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff sells. That sold for $13.99, plus shipping, going out to your name, Rachel. Rachel says, hi, I'm a follower of your wife's YouTube channel and just recently started watching your channel. Welcome, Rachel. This will be a great Mother's Day gift from my mom. Good luck picking. Rachel, thank you for the support. Hope your mom likes the puzzle. And if you guys have not seen my wife Whitney's channel, it's called Be The Village. I'll put a link down below in the description. Next thing's down in B51. It is a lot of four ZZ Top CDs. I recently bought a huge box of CDs and I did an auction for the majority of them, but these four, since they were all the same band, I decided to do them together. They sold for $16.99 free shipping, going out to viewer named Danny. Danny, thank you for the business. I hope you like the CDs. Okay, next order is two cards. They're both in A3. Let's see, we've got an Aaron Rodgers X-Fractor. 
right here. That's 2011 Topps Chrome and a 2012 Mike Trout. Same buyer got both of these for $41.98 free shipping. These are going out to viewers Kyle and Jennifer. Guys, thanks for the support. I hope you like the cards. Sold another card in A3. I got this just about a week ago. This is a different buy than the one you guys saw me do in the video. I didn't do a video of this one. Um, this buy, I had like a bunch of vintage Reds cards and then this and some other odds and ends. And this uh, Vlad Guerrero PSA 10. Put it up for auction, sold for $79 plus shipping. Another card in that lot was this vintage Frank Robinson. This is from 1960. Uh, that sold at auction for $20.50. Next thing is a junk, junk drawer lot that I did an auction for. I've been doing a lot of auctions lately. Let's see, this is a bunch of patches. There's like some medals and pins, just all kinds of random stuff. These sold for $14.50 plus shipping. Sold another card out of A3. I think this is the last one I'm pulling out of here. This is an X-Tractor, just like that Aaron Rodgers 2011, but this is Tom Brady. Took a best offer on that for $40 free shipping. Just a couple more things of shipping out. Next is in C32. It is Magnum PI, sealed first season. I got that at a garage sale. I want to say it's been about a month ago. Paid $2, sold for $11.99 free shipping. And last thing we're shipping out is an A31. It is CD right here wanted the outlaws brand new in the plastic uh shirley reached out you guys might remember her she asked if i had to take nine dollars free shipping and i said yes shirley thanks so much for the business i hope you're doing well before i end this video i want to give a special shout out to daniel and caitlin guys i know you watch all my videos and i just want you to know that it means so much to me thank you that is it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time